Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a variable, you know, how to assign some values to the variable and also how to retrieve the values from the variables. So I believe that, you know, all of you guys have watched my previous tutorial, you know, which explained what is a variable, what is a data type and, uh, you know, about the constants, keywords, etc, etc. So in this tutorial, we'll be creating the variables and uh, we'll be demonstrating, you know, how to use them. All right. A variable is nothing but the name given to a memory location to access that easily. So to create a variable in C++, first you need to write the type specifier or the data type. So which is nothing but the type of data will be stored in your variable. Uh, or if you know that, you know, there are um, four arithmetic data types available in C++, you know, the integers, the character, floating point, and also boolean. And also one special type is that called void, you know, which is normally used with functions to indicate that, you know, a particular function is not going to return any values. So here we're going to learn, you know, how to create the variables of type int, char, float, boolean and also how to assign some values to them how to retrieve the values from them so here just for the demonstration purpose i'm going to create an integer variable you know a variable which is going to store some integer value so the data type or the value stored in that variable is of type integer and that's why i'm going to use the keyword int you know which is used for integers int and then the variable name so i'm going to call it as age then we need to add a semicolon here and similarly if you want to create a variable of type float then you need to write float and the variable name for example i'm gonna say average and we need to add a semicolon and if you want to create a variable of type character we need to use the keyword care and then the variable name let's say sex and then if you want to create a variable of type boolean then uh, uh, you need to use the keyword bool and the variable name let's say is it that's pretty cool all right now we have defined the variables here so the, all these variable are going to contain some garbage values and to demonstrate that i'm going to use the c out and we can use stream insertion operator and then we need to write the variable so here age i'm gonna write here and then uh, stream insertion operator again and then i'm gonna add en dl which is another constant defined in uh, the std namespace you know which is uh, used to add a new line and then again the stream insertion operator and then average then again and it's gonna be sex this time okay here we're gonna add a uh, end line again all right sex and then uh, again end line and again it's gonna be easy so we need to add a semicolon here so if I save this program and run this build and run Okay, you guys can see here some garbage values are present so you know minus to some 1.80 etc etc garbage values so once we define a variable in our program you know the variables are going to contain some garbage values so so what we can do is we can uh, initialize these variables to some values so we can initialize a variable when we define that variable or we can initialize them separately for example i can initialize this variable age here let's say 23 and to initialize a variable we're going to use the assignment operator which is an equal to symbol and uh, i can initialize this variable average you know after defining it here let's say average equal to 22.52 you know which is a floating point number that's why i'm going to use 22.52 and similarly if you want to initialize the six you can do it here m and is it since it is a boolean type we're going to store true you know when we use true here 
a value of 1 will be stored in this is it variable and if you use false here a value of 0 will be stored here so once we define and initialize a variable you know we can access the values stored in that variable here you know you can see here we have used C out function to just print out the values if I save this program and run this again build and run now you guys can see here age 23 average 22.52 here average 22.52 then uh, sex m is it one instead of true we have one so now another thing that uh, we can do is we can uh, create a bunch of variable at a time for example if you want to create let's say three variables of type integer at that time you can combine them for example int a and then you need to separate them by a comma then b comma c and also if you want to initialize them here you can do that for example int a then b equal to 10 comma c etc etc or you know i'm going to use another c out function here and um, i'm going to refer the variable b and then i'm going to add a new line I'm gonna save this build build and run so now you guys can see here I have 10 so the value of B you know which is 10 here so another thing that you should keep in mind is that you know before using a variable in your program you need to define it so if I use a variable which is not defined in my program then the compiler is gonna generate some errors for example here in our program we don't have a variable called b right now because you know i have removed that line now when we refer to that variable b you know the variable is not present in our program that's why the compiler is going to generate some errors so to demonstrate that i'm going to save this build build and run so you guys can see here error b was not declared in this scope that's because you know b is not defined or declared in our program all right the next thing is you know about the type modifiers so we can use the type modifiers with our basic data types for example short int etc etc so what this is going to do is it's going to influence on the number of bytes to store the values for example short int is smaller than int etc etc all right this is it guys this is about the variables how to create or define a variable how to use them how to store the values in them how to retrieve the values from them so thank you guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to put a comment in the video and i'll see you in the next tutorial